Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Sarissa and welcome to my floor. Today we're going to be talking about rugs and yes, it's another YouTube, Instagram made me buy it day. I tried Ruggables. So if you're interested in my experience and my first impressions of Ruggables, keep watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure that you hit like and subscribe if this is the type of video that you like. Here on my channel, I like to do a lot of product reviews. I also do some general lifestyle videos and we talk a lot about grocery shopping and specifically gluten-free food items as well. So I know it's a little bit of everything, but it's fun, it's life. So, Ruggables, I actually took notes today. Um, this is a company that I was fairly intrigued by because I'm not really a fan of carpeting in general. Um, in this particular home, we do have some carpeting, but we have a lot of tile that actually looks like wood. And although it's beautiful, it's my favorite thing ever, there are certain areas that require rugs. And um, you know, rugs can be a tricky thing. They can be very expensive, they can slip all over the place. And generally what I have done in the past is either wait and purchase something just at Costco that lasts me a few years or so and then toss it when needed, or a few times I've actually gone to a carpet um, store and had them made for me just based off of remnant rugs, a uh, remnant carpet. But um, I didn't really want to do that this time because I was kind of trying to up my decor game and I wanted a very specific look with my rugs and I also do enjoy that kind of old world style where the rug is a lot thinner and just lays really flat on the um, ground and I've never really had that before. So in comes Ruggables. I heard about it from a YouTuber and then of course Instagram all over the place you see um, ads for things like that. So I thought it was very interesting because Ruggables, if you're not familiar with it, it's an actual rug company and they have tons of sizes. They have thousands of different options for you and they actually come with or without the pad if you want the pad. And um, the point of them are you can peel them off of the pad and actually throw them into your washing machine. Even the eight by 10 size rug is supposed to fit in most average size washing machines. I'm a huge fan of that. This is what intrigued me because we have pets. We have lots of indoor outdoor activity and you know dirt comes in and my rugs primarily go by my outdoor indoor doors. Is that what you call them? <laughs> anyway, um, so long story short, the company is supposed to be from what I've gathered, um, a women owned company. They um, are fairly new. I think they actually started 2010 ish, but you know how that goes and they're starting to become more popular now. They look like they're Los Angeles, uh, California based, and um, they offer free shipping to the continental US. Um, I did see an ad saying that they had actually expanded into Canada though, so if you are from Canada and you're interested, I think that they ship there as well now. Um, the ordering process was really easy actually. You just go to their website. I happened to have a, a discount code that I had found and I wanted to use it. So they, like I said, they have thousands of different offerings. They have lots of styles, choices, even like the plushness and the type of rug, indoor, outdoor. You can also, um, like I said, choose the padding or not padded. And then they have beautiful filters, so you can just really get down to the nitty gritty based on your color or your style or the aesthetic that you're looking for. And um, then from there, if you're still a little bit stuck, they have lots of inspiration areas on their site too, and it's fun. And side note, I did see a commercial the other day that said they now have a Star Wars collection, which I'm secretly obsessed with, and I have no need for a Star Wars rug, but I'm probably going to get one. Anyway, um, let's see what else. The ordering process, something I wanted to say was this was something I was unaware of before. They are claimed to be made to order. So in my mind, I thought I was just picking a rug. They had them in a warehouse and they were going to ship it to me. That was not the case. After I placed my order for two rugs, which I'll show you in a bit, um, they actually sent me an email immediately after saying thank you for your order. Every rug is made to order and they take two to four weeks to receive. So just keep that in mind. This is not one of those Costco, Amazon type of situations. You're not going to order it and get your rug in three days. It is going to take time. The other thing with the ordering process is that cost. So 
the fun thing about Ruggables is you can actually swap them out seasonally. So because I purchased the size that I want for the area I want, I purchased it with the pad. Well, if um, that was a say three by five and I paid $109 for the rug and the pad in the three by five size. But if I want to swap it out, say for winter or Christmas time or another season, I can go and just purchase the rug and that particular size rug is actually $30 cheaper if I just buy the rug only. Now I purchased another one, which is a two and a half by 10. It's a runner for my hallway. Now that one cost $189 with the rug and the pad. But if I'm going to replace just the rug only, it's down to $129. So I can purchase a couple of different rugs and just slap them down on top of my padding and I can change things out during the season. They also sell or sometimes will send you an email after you order that if you order again, you can get a free um, storage bag for your rug. So I'm considering using that discount code next time so that I can purchase a second rug for the season and then I'll have a free bag to store my other one in. So that's just a side note. Packaging. Um, for those of you who are really concerned about packaging, this was probably one of the most minimal packages I've ever seen. Um, the rug was rolled as tightly as possible and say like the three by five was about this big or a little bigger than that, long wise. Tiny is like small as it can be, really tightly wrapped with the pad wrapped inside it as well and minimal plastic just to basically hold everything in place. And there wasn't a lot of fluff in there or anything, just a few small pamphlets with directions in them. So I really appreciated that because I was concerned, especially finding out that I was gonna get my rugs in separate orders. I didn't want all kinds of packaging. So they did a really good job of minimizing packaging. As far as quality, the rug itself looks wonderful and I think that it's gonna actually last me quite a while. But the edging is something that I wanna show you because again, I've only had this for you know approximately three to four weeks and um, I can already see that I think that is going to um, be an issue and it's going to kind of uh, peel off or possibly get a little like dingy or maybe even pill just a little bit. Um, but I would hate for it to just completely fall apart. So I'll give you updates as um, the time goes by with that. And let's see, last thing, um, ease of use. They have the directions on the packaging. You basically have a specific way that they want you to roll the rug pad out and then they tell you how to roll the actual rug on top of it so that it stays even and neat and you know that can require a little bit of shifting and changing I had a couple of issues with my long two and a half by ten one um, and it's still not perfect but I'm okay with it right now I just don't feel like peeling it off and trying a different way um, but you'll see what I'm talking about so let's get to the rugs I'll show you what they look like and I'll give you a little bit of details on those so this is the assembly of our first ruggable. I got a approximately three by five and then I got a longer 10 foot one that has not come in yet. So the assembly says to roll up the top of the rug with the, ins the nice side facing inside and then lay the top, nope, with a little bit of an overhang onto the Velcro side very evenly so we're gonna see how easily that goes a little bit of an overhang and then just slowly roll it out and flatten it down this is um, the edging that I'm talking about now this is an actual type of like thick kind of a thread but as you can see this rug is only about three weeks old and even though this is an off-white color um, you can already see a little bit of like I don't know I guess it's fraying or it's a little bit off and then let me see if I can scoot over a little bit um, you know it just it's it's going to wear on you, I guess is what um, I'm going to say. It uh, This is in a very high traffic area. It's in my dining room area, goes out to my backyard. Um, you know, so I, I bought this knowing that it was going to get a lot of use and that was kind of the point of it and why I wanted it um, to be able to be washable. If you peel that back, 
here is the Velcro. And so this is a latex free backing and it kind of has a Velcro feel to it. And um, the back of it is kind of rubbery. So that sticks really well. I haven't had a big problem with this sliding at all. Now I was told that these pockets have recently been added because they're, they're kind of thick and kind of rubbery. And at first I thought they were to go inside here, but they are not. What these actually are, I believe are weighted pockets because a lot of people were complaining that the edges of the rugs were kind of like rolling up on them. So that's what they have added to them so that they don't roll up on the edges for you. Okay, please excuse the lighting. Um, this is actually the same exact color rug and one of the reasons why I placed this order in the first place. Um, these rugs are close enough uh, that I wanted them to match really well. But um, this is my two and a half by 10. And I just wanna show you, this was the one I got the, like just I've only had it about a week and a half. And if you can already see that shift in color that is dirt and ash and um, i'm purposely leaving it alone because um, we still have a huge fire raging right now and ash everywhere so there's really no point in me cleaning it but it is picking up a lot of that and then i have like a small stain already um that I have no idea what that's from, but I can spot clean, but with the ash, I don't see the point in trying that right now, so I just, I'm gonna be washing this one in the very near future. Um, but I did want to point out that with this long rug, what I did was I laid down the backing, and then I just basically tried to match this up as evenly as possible on top of it and roll it out, but I didn't take into consideration the length. I thought that the lengths would be very similar with the rug and the pad, and they are not currently. So let me just show you what can happen. It might not be that easy for you guys to see, but maybe from here it's in this angle. From this angle, um, the rug pad actually stops here and the rug is this much longer. So again, at the other end, I, I should pick this up and shift it over so that it evens out better because um, if you're in the room and really looking, you can see that drop off. Um, and I could make it a lot less noticeable if I wanted to deal with that, but I just have been lazy and haven't. But that is something to be aware of. Um, not a huge problem for me. Like I said, it's something I can adjust. And the cool thing about the Velcro system is if it starts to like roll up or get weird, you basically just lift it up and um, unattach it and then like smooth it out and keep pushing it down. And um, I've had no problems with curling. Several of the other reviews say that the like rug edges curl up like a lot, kind of go like that a little bit, um, especially in high traffic areas. But I have had none of that so far. And um, yeah, that's pretty good. So, so far so good. I am noticing, like I said, that the dirt is picking up really quickly, but that's, I believe, just because of our area right now. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with it, and I'm happy with the link, so that's good. So that does it for my review of Ruggables Rugs, and um, actually it's more of a first impressions. I will keep you updated, like I said, over the next several months just to see how they are holding up and if I purchase more. Um, I am going to put a couple of links for you below. This is not an affiliation thing, not sponsored, nothing like that, but there is a 10% off discount code, and then when you order, they send you one of those kind of friends and family things where you actually give your friends and family 15% off, and then I think I get a 15% off coupon as well. So I'll add both of those on there if you're interested in um, trying any of this out at all. And if you have purchased Ruggables, please leave your comments below. I'd like to know if they've held up for you, if you like them, if you change them out seasonally, just let me know. And if you don't do these at all, but you have a really good company or a place that you like to buy rugs, please tell us about that too, because we're always looking for new places to get things that we need. All right, until next time, have a great day, and we'll see you soon.